Hi, welcome to the Arcade Repair Test video series. Today we're going to talk about adjusting a monitor. I know we've gotten a lot of questions off of the website and uh, you get a new game, first thing you want to do is before you do a cap kit or anything, of course, try to adjust it. A lot of times it's just a simple adjustment, just like your TV at home. As you can see by this screen right here, this one is very blurry. And there's usually um, only one thing that can that controls that, and that's the focus. The focus is found on the flyback. Let's take a look in the back, and we'll adjust the flyback to try to make this picture look sharper. So this monitor was out of focus. Now we're at the back of the game, and although there are many different types of monitors, many different types of chassis, one thing is pretty constant, and that is the focus and the brightness on the flyback. Now, if you've watched our other video series, you probably know what the flyback is, but just in case, let's review. This anode cup, for sure, don't stick your finger under there, it usually says high voltage, goes down and attaches to the flyback. On the back of the flyback, ours is on the back of the game, yours may be on the side, may even be kind of hard to spot, but follow your anode cup, big, long red wire uh, that goes to the tube, comes back down to the flyback. Now on the top one is the focus, the bottom is the brightness, sometimes they have three. Uh, if you're not sure, by all means, have, have somebody look at the front, or a lot of times people get a, like a mirror and put it on a stick so that they can hold it around to the front and watch. Or what we've done before is take a general household mirror. We've got one in the bathroom. Sometimes we'll just put it on, if I'm working by myself, I'll put it in front of something, and then I can look at the mirror as I change things. So, all we're going to do is just turn the focus down just a little bit until it looks really sharp. Also, keep in mind that this is not the only brightness. Most of the time, there's a brightness here, which really will make your screen really dark, really light. By all means, if you're not getting any picture, come around here and turn it up really far just to see if your screen goes white. A lot of times that way you can tell if it's your board or if it's your monitor. People ask me all the time, Tim, is this my board or is it my monitor? I say, well, if you turn the brightness all the way up and your monitor glows really bright or big gray or blue screen or something, it probably is your board. So you know your monitor's working that way. But then you also have this separate control board. Now some of you have seen it. Sometimes it'll be up in the front of the game, but it'll be attached by wiring to this. And those controls all do something pretty standard but just in case you know we'll go through a few of them like you have your holds for instance if your screen is scrolling a vertical and horizontal and or if your screen is out of sync and looks like all scrambled sometimes by adjusting the holds you can get that picture to come in then you have such things as your vertical size that's where you know you want to make your picture come in or get bigger then your horizontal size same way brightness contrast now contrast a lot of times your uh, words on your screen like when you get to the main word let's say on a pac-man game this is the word pac-man well a lot of times it'll be bleeding what it looks like the colors are bleeding a lot of times that's your contrast contrast will you need to adjust to make your picture look really sharp really bright very important on gun games to turn up the brightness and the contrast just about as far as you can without distorting the picture because the gun, light guns use those in order to make the screen great. Now a lot of monitors will have adjustments up here or on the side of your neck board. The neck board is this small board that attaches to the neck of your tube. And up here you'll have the red cutoff, the red drive, the blue cutoff, blue drive, green cutoff, green drive. And so you know by your color wheel that a combination of those sometimes will give you different colors. So you need to adjust those. Or if you've got too much red, you can turn the red drive down. Or just you'll just have to play with them. Everybody out there, there's no scientific method, there's no certain way to do this, except for to get in there and turn some knobs. Now, make sure you know which ones you're turning. Um, we're not going to go into a lot of details, but just for you new guys out there, if you want a little bit more red, you turn it up. Turn it to the right. If you want a little bit less, turn it down. But if you'll play with your colors enough, you can get usually a really good picture. Sometimes people send in a chassis for repair, and all it needed was an adjustment. 
So learn how to do this. Don't be afraid. Uh, you do this with the game on so you can watch the picture change. Uh, sometimes in your settings menus you can go to test and you'll have a color bar chart or something to go by. Those are very help, helpful. Uh, by all means, any game that you have, you need to learn what your test menus and what they do. You'll see some on many games that say monitor or picture. And uh, use those test menus and then go in and start adjusting these. So we're just going to turn these little white knobs, which are called POTS, or short for potentiometers. Think of it like an old school radio. You remember back in the day when you had a radio and you actually, had, or on your TV, when you turned up the volume, you actually turned it up? Well, that's a potentiometer. This is a very smaller version of that, but that's all you're doing. You're turning up or turning down. So that's how we adjust. We got the horizontal position, the whole vertical position, whole brightness. Remember, there are two brightnesses, one here and one there. Sometimes it takes a little bit more brightness on here, a little less here, or vice versa. You just got to play with it. Don't be afraid. Like I said, a mirror or something or a good friend that has a good eye for this stuff. Sometimes I've been by myself. I just had to run back and forth, turn a little bit. One last tip that I want to throw out is you say, well, you know, you don't want to mess up something and you don't want to experiment too much. What you can do is if you found that the hold is good or before you start, you can take like a black magic marker and mark where you started. Mark one side of this and mark your board and then you'll know to go back. If that doesn't change, you put it back the way it was. Now, or if you get it like you like it, maybe mark all of them where they are. Over time now, Caps will give out, things will change, that may change. Uh, one thing I will like to recommend that you not do, though a lot of people will probably say it's okay, and I notice that we get a lot of games where people will silicone these um, clothes because they think they got it adjusted right. Well, what's good today may not be good two or three years from now or five years from now. If you had this game for a long time and you silicone that clothes, you can't adjust it. It's easier to go back there and adjust it than it is to have to remove the silicone and try to do that. So by all means, I would, not, I would highly recommend that you not do that. Here we are, we're on the color screen in the test menu. And as you can see, the red right here, what we call bleeding, are coming out of the white. I'm going to turn the red drive down some and watch this go in as I do that. See how it's coming in? coming in. It's looking more like the other squares now. Or a lot of monitors will be a bar. A little bit more. Anyway, there you go. Now we have got that color bled. So you have a red drive, a green drive, and a blue drive on the back of your neck board I was turning. As those were bleeding, you made them come in more. So look for those, especially where you see the lettering and stuff. You see the colors bleeding out from there then you know it needs adjusting. Well, now that we got the monitor adjusted, it is game time. So if you guys have any questions or comments, as always, just send us an email. Again, thank you for watching Arcade Repair Tips video series now in high depth.